guys welcome back to my channel i missed you guys so i'm back 2020 was was quite a year this year um I'll try as much as possible to be consistent i haven't been consistent but you guys have been supporting watching my videos and leaving comments i appreciate you guys yeah so i definitely do appreciate that i've been getting a lot of requests from some of you guys to do a suit crm series and i'm here to do that for you guys so i'm here to do that i've been getting a lot of emails too asking some questions so some of these questions i'm going to be including them in this suit crm series so if you see me looking down it's because i have a list of the items that i want to include in this series for you guys i'll tr try as much as possible to be releasing each and every one of them every monday so i'll be releasing them every monday starting with today's video so the first item on this series is how to set up a suit crm case management module so yes this today's video is going to be covering the case management aspect of things but i would like to advise that if you've not watched my videos on how to create fields how to enable modules on suit crm please i'll leave the link here or here somewhere on the screen so please ensure that you watch that video before you continue with this Pause this right now and go and watch those other videos because it will help you understand some of the things that we're going to be doing in this video. So the second part of this series is how to set up email notification. So I've been getting some requests online in um, my mailbox. I've gotten I've been getting some mails asking me how to set up these email notifications. So this is going to be the second video because for a case management module to work properly you also need to set up the emails in order for this system to be able to send out emails to whoever need to attend to some of these issues that are going to be captured in the case management module and the third video in this series is going to be how to write simple workflows so what we've customized the case management module we've um, set up our email notifications how are we going to direct these emails to individuals that is what brings us to the workflow management so we need to write workflows we need to tell the system exactly what we want it to do we need to tell it who we want the emails to go to we need to tell it what we want to happen when once the case is created so that is what our third video is going to be about then the fourth one is how to migrate existing data from your current system to suit crm let's say you want to set up this your case management system in suit crm while you're already using um, um, sugar or zoho or any other crm but now you want to migrate to suit crm i'm going to be showing us in our fourth video how to do this then the fifth video is how to integrate your crm to a pbx solution so let's say you want to set up a cost center solution using your case management module maybe you want your customers to also call in and lay their complaint you need a place for this data that you're collecting to reside that you need a database for this which is the case management module using the crm so your agents pick the call they capture the issue on your crm and then it's routed to whoever it needs to go to so i'm going to be showing us how to integrate the call center solution with the pbx solution then the sixth item is demonstrating how a call center works so you have set up your case management uh, solution you have not um you you have um, set up your email notifications, you've written some workflows, and now you need to integrate them together. We have done with the integration to a PBX solution. So I'll be showing you guys how this item works together so you understand that relationship. Then the seventh video is what to consider before choosing a CRM vendor so yes maybe it's a bit difficult for you to understand what is going on here or what we're doing because i get 
some uh, messages from people telling me that oh i see this your videos on crm 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 but i don't really understand what to do with this and you're a business owner so so long as you're a business owner you are a b2b business owner or a b2c business owner you need a crm software so in, in the situation whereby you cannot implement this by yourself and you need someone to implement it our seventh video on this series has you covered so i'm going to be sharing tips with you what you need to consider what you need to know before you actually engage a crm vendor in situation whereby you cannot implement this yourself time to stop my rambling and get to the video before you guys get bored <laughs> so guys on to today's video implementing the case management module if you haven't subscribed please kindly do so and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any posts from me without further delay let's get right into it so i'll just go ahead and open my WAMP server If you remember, we customized a suit CRM earlier for product and services management. So I'll just go ahead and use that same CRM. So once you've logged in, you can see that for that particular um, CRM that we customized previously, we have customer, we have the others, we have invoices, we have cases. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys that customer, others, invoices, cases we have products and product categories as well as workflows so i'll just go ahead and open the case management module so that we can see what that looks like so this is the case management module these are some out of the box fields that it came with so once you install your suit crm these are the fields you see Use that we're making use of here are subjects, customer name, status, the description, resolution, and then we'll add some other fields like orders to this since we're using it for a business, a fashion business. So to customize this, you go to admin and then you scroll all the way to studio. So once you open your studio, you go to cases, you'll be working from the fields. So for the fields that already exist, I'll just make some adjustments. I'll be rushing through these guys. So for the case category list, I want the subcategory to be dependent on the category. That is why I'm creating this as a drop down. Always take note of what you used as your item name, because when you get to your subcategory, you'll be referencing that.
so you can see here i'm putting the item name of the case category field here in order to make this dependent on it so always remember to do this if not it won't be dependent Okay, the parent list I copied initially, I typed initially was not correct, so I'll just make that correction now. Okay. this is when to create the description so if you remember i added two to the um, existing description so that the system won't flag that it already existed so i'll just go ahead and create the description box i want So this is when to add everything we have created to the layouts. So we'll start with edit view. For the case number, we are not the ones that create the number. The system automatically generates it. So we'll go ahead and take it off from here, from the edit view. Add case subjects, the customer name. Just arrange it the way you want, the way you feel like it makes sense to you, and just fix it that way. Then move on to the detail view. The detail view is going to look slightly different from the edit view because here we want to see the date the case was created, who created it, and when it was modified. So add those things. And deploy. Then we'll go to list view. Just add what you want to see on the list of your cases when you open the module. And quick create, you copy from edit view. And let's see what the case module looks like now. create case
So you can see our status shows new immediately you open the case status the case module so we don't want it that way let's go ahead and add a blank field to display once you open the case module so you can go back to the case module and refresh it's solved you can also write a workflow such that once a case is created to automatically assign status but we're getting to that We'll treat everything in this series. So I don't want this empty field in soft category once I select complaint. So let me go ahead and take that off. Okay guys, so this is what the case management module looks like. By the time we are done with this series, we will have a complete case management solution where we can create a case, workflows are assigned, automatically goes to someone and then is monitored till the end. So you can select the customer name. This is just showing you guys what you can do with this module. Then you can select the order that this case is related to. We'll get to that. See you guys in part two. This is how you implement your case management module in Suits CRM. So you could see we're able to create the needed fields. We're able to add these fields to the view, the issue categories. So depending on your business, you can always capture whatever the issue category is. That's the expected issues, what you know people might complain about. You already know that, so you can always implement it and include it in your case management module should you have any issues trying to implement this please do not hesitate to reach out i don't bite nene <laughs> so you can always reach out to me if you have any issues you can always email me my email is down here you can also see that in the description box so always email me and i'll be glad to help give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and turn on post notifications, subscribe so that you don't miss any posts from me. See you guys in my next video. Bye.